giving a lip. Yes. Hello. <laughs> you want it? I love it. And now it's giving Y2K. I know. <laughs> Music video shoot. I, I, yeah, that's <laughs> Are you ready? Paris Hilton. Yeah. I'm so ready. I just love a zip up when you're like taking photos. Are they the and same? Your makeup jumpsuits? Yeah. It's one yeah. Orlando. Oh. I was like for the nostalgia of it. All. Oh, I love it. <laughs> What is up? Welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. As you guys saw, we had a super fun Gals in the Go photo shoot. If you guys don't know what Gals in the Go is, Gals in the Go is the podcast I have with my best friend Brooke. New episodes every Wednesday. It's so much fun and we're basically doing a new branding shoot. So like new photos, I have so much makeup on because we were like doing flash photography. We've always done like an animated cover. So like for our podcast artwork, I think we've had three different covers now and we were like, we should change it up and have it be a photo of us which is crazy and i mean we have to both agree on the photos is the hard part like we both will be like oh i like this one better of me but like this one's better of the two of us you know you gotta like compromise um so hopefully after we get the photos back we'll love one we wore some really fun looks you guys saw some behind the scenes i'm like so happy with like the little previews that rissa our photographer was showing us and kat did our makeup um so it was a really really fun day and yeah, it's a really lovely week ahead. I'm so excited to be doing another week in my life. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I live in New York City and I'm taking you guys along my life. Wellness, lifestyle, fashion, all the things. Um, so yeah, it's been snowing all day today and it's so cozy. I'm like obsessed. It's nice because when you go out in the snow, it's not like rain, you don't get wet from it. It's just kind of like hitting you. Um, so it's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm wearing my purple little suit here. I have some fun, exciting announcements in this vlog that I'm really excited about. This video is sponsored by Brooklinen for a very exciting reason, you guys. Brooke and I have come out with a Gals on the Go Brooklinen bundle. Yep, you heard that right. I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. Um, it's basically going to include, it's basically like you go on the website and they have different bundles to shop. Well, there's a Gals in the Go bundle that we specifically curated. Like if you're moving to an apartment soon, if you're going into college, you need things for your dorm, like literally whatever it might be. These are like our favorite things. It's our favorite towels. I literally love them so much, but they are the beautiful pink color. They are in my uh, bathroom right now and I'll show you guys in a little bit and then this beautiful plush robe and then sheets and the sheets are this beautiful i keep saying beautiful but they're just also beautiful light pink sheets i'm going to switch out i i just got them in the mail yesterday and i was waiting to vlog to like make my bed with them because we picked these out and i'm like obsessed um so yeah if you get the bundle you'll get all those things all together and it's perfect like i said if you're moving or whatever it may be um and we're just so honored to have like a thing on their website like that's so sick brooke and i both have used brooklyn in forever and this is such a dream come true for us we've wanted to do more like collaborations with brands in this capacity so we're very excited so it's a fun gals in the go week we're actually shooting the photos that you guys will already have seen by the time this vlog is up um this friday and we rented out like a like a it's called a peer space they you know you can rent out different studios so this one has like a bed it's like an apartment it looks like an apartment but um it has really insane lighting we're gonna make the bed with our sheets there and where the it's gonna be so fun but yeah i'm obsessed i actually i'm just gonna show you guys now because i'm obsessed so i showered before i left this morning that's why it's like not folded all cute but you guys this is the most comfortable plush hotel feeling um towel i'm seriously obsessed and i also have another one in here i have like all brooklyn in here let's be real 
but this is what it looks like, you know, all folded up and the color. It's it's stunning. I'm so obsessed. It's the perfect pop of color because I feel like a lot of us have these neutral apartments. So it's really nice to have this pop of color. Like literally this morning, it made me happy to like get out of the shower and put on this towel. And then on the back of the door, I've got all my Brooklyn and robes. This one's also Brooklyn in. This is literally, the, I'm actually about to change into this because it's literally the comfiest thing in the world. It's this light pink stripes. It's the same towel material. So I actually, I was really cold when I got out of the shower this morning. I wrapped this around and then I put this around my hair and then I put this on and it was a freaking vibe. I even took a photo. I'll show you guys. As you can see, it was a lovely moment I had with myself in the bathroom. <laughs> I just put the robe on. It's literally so comfy and warm and i like when the robes are longer because i feel like the robes short i'm still like a little chilly this is perfect it keeps you warm or if you get out of the shower but you're like oh my gosh i'm wet this will soak it right up it's so cute so you get this in the bundle along with the towels and the sheets which i'm about to show you guys but like i mean hello welcome to my bedroom we're about to make my bed i have brooklyn and sheets on right now of course but we're gonna switch over to these beautiful sheets that Brooke and I picked out for the bundle. These are the Lux Core sheets. These are my favorite sheets. These are like, I mean, Brooklyn has other amazing sheets, but these are my personal favorite and Brooke's too. That's why we put them in the bundle. Also, you can totally customize the bundle with different colors that you want. The bundle is basically going to be the super plush robe, the super plush towels, and then the Lux Core sheets. And then you can kind of switch it off as you will. For the sheets, if you want to do our bundle, it, we do the Himalayan salt sheets, which I love this color. It's like a beautiful beautiful light baby pink which I think is awesome the towels are called wild rose if you want that color and then this beautiful robe is in the color striped flamingo which is so fun it's just such a dream come true to be doing a bundle with Brooklyn and like I mean you guys know like everyone loves Brooklyn and Brooke and I have talked about it for so long but I am honored that they chose to work with us on this like I mean we fully said to them like we want to do a bundle and they were down um so very pumped about that <laughs> also by getting the bundle instead of buying everything separately you'll get 15% off the total which is always really exciting because you're obviously buying it in a bundle which we love so I'm gonna open these up now and get ready to make my bed it's time to make my bed because I put self tan on and I slept in it last night these sheets wash so well by the way like I look forward to washing my sheets because you want to invest in some sheets that one are good quality which is definitely Brooklyn in, but also you want to have sheets that actually get better with each wash not like oh I have to wash them again they're gonna like lose the feeling no they get softer and I feel like everyone I know that has Brooklyn in can attest to that I got my boyfriend on Brooklyn and sheets because I was like you spend one third of your life in bed so might as well have sheets that are really really comfortable so beautiful good quality he has the gray ones we upgraded him from the navy blue sheets nothing against navy blue but you know it's a big deal and he got gray brooklyn in, and i was like i'm even more attracted to you oh my gosh they look so good i feel like matilda jerf would like post a photo of her bed and it would look like this. It's just such a lovely pop of color. So the Gals in the Go bundle is available exclusively through the link that I'll have linked down below. So if you click that link in the description box to get yourself one, that's all you got to do. And you'll use the code GOTG20 to save yourself an extra $20 off your Brooklyn in order. So definitely go check it out. I literally love these sheets so much. Again, we're so excited to be partnering up. Again, I will have a link down below to shop the bundle. You have to click that link and then you can also use that code GOTG20. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so good. Cozy it up in my robe. Gonna do some emails, snack, some roasted red pepper hummus with some mini cucumbers, of course. The best snack. Just cleaned up my apartment and now I'm watching Nashville, of course, doing lots of laundry, about to make some dinner. I It's random stuff. I bought this yesterday at the grocery store but didn't buy like anything else to make it with. Um, just some broccoli and cauliflower. I have some pearled couscous. This is my literal favorite from Whole Foods, so I'm going to make that. And then for some protein, I've got some breaded chicken, some frozen. It's actually breaded with like cauliflower, so it's a big cauliflower meal. You know, it works, and I'm excited. So we're gonna make this.
Dinner is served. I'm actually pretty proud of this. If I do say so myself, it looks delicious. It's a lot later now. I cleaned up the kitchen because you know after you cook, it's very dirty and messy. Did all the dishes. I'm going through lots of loads of laundry. These <laughs> chairs are my drying rack. <laughs> Things that I'm air drying. And you know, it works. Sweat sets I don't like to dry because they shrink and I don't like that. So we're on the last load in the dryer right now. My room just looks oh so lovely. Got my sheets. I am also going to go on Amazon, I think, tonight and look for a necklace holder of some sort because I've got all my necklaces organized here and I feel like I would wear different necklaces every day if I had something to, like, hold them. So I'm going to look on Amazon and some other websites to put something there. Um, but yeah, I'm literally selling my robe hours later. I love it so much. I can turn this off here. And yeah, that's kind of what's up. I was organizing my hallway. You guys don't even know how, like, there were so many boxes there. Like, I hadn't broken them down. I was so lazy. So finally did that and um, kind of organized Thursday. Exciting for the vlog. Um, Sierra Belanger, my interior designer, is coming over. And we're finally tackling these shelves. Going to design them, style them kind of figure it all out. So I'm really excited about that because it's kind of all over the place right now. Wednesday. It's so funny. The last two days I like haven't recorded an intro to the day, but I realized it's like, hey guys, this is what I'm going to do today. And then I take you guys along the day and then it's like, okay. So I just thought it wouldn't be as repetitive. So I had a lovely day. As you guys saw, this is the nail color I got. I will not stop getting chrome on my nails. Like I am obsessed. I think it just adds a lot to if you just get a simple color, it makes it way more shiny. I'm going to Cabo next week. So I thought this would be quite fun. Um, sauna was great. Just felt so good to sweat. And I actually stopped by one of my favorite coffee shops called Amore Cafe. It's in Lower East Side, East Village vibes. Really small, cute little place, but I used to go there all the time when I lived over there. So I was like, I'm gonna get myself a little iced decaf coffee. Um, and yeah, I'm back now. Already showered at the sauna plate at Chill House. They're great, by the way. If you want to get their sauna membership, it's fire. A lot of people ask me why I don't go to Equinox for the sauna. There's only two locations and they're not near me. So Chill House um, graciously offered me a membership. And like, obviously, I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Like, I, I just see all the benefits in a sauna. And it's right near where I go work out with my trainer on Wednesday. So I've just been going every Wednesday. 
So yeah, that's that. Um, but I'm doing something. Ex I'm today's a fun day, so it's like 3:30 ish now. Um, I'm just gonna. I actually cleaned a lot last night. I was up really late last night, like cleaning, as you guys saw. But I have some laundry to fold that was not done drying when I went to bed, and I really wanted that to be done before I went to bed, but I, I couldn't wait those extra 20 minutes. I was so tired. Um, so I'm going to do my laundry. Kelly's coming, MakeupXKA on Instagram. She has this amazing makeup platform, and we've been wanting to do this for a while where we just film like a get ready with me. I think I'm doing my makeup, and she's doing her makeup, and we're just going to like chit chat. Um... Maybe she'll give me some tips and tricks. I don't really know, but we're just going to feel it out. She did, like, a question box on her Instagram, which is really nice. And, yeah, we're going to answer questions, talk about products, just, like, fun girly time. So that'll be a video that'll go up next week. Um, but I'm excited. And then we're going to get ready. And then I'm not going with her, sadly. Um, hopefully she has, like, a date night planned or something because she'll have her makeup done. But we're going to go to, or not we, me and Delaney are going to the John Mayer concert tonight. I'm so excited. I've been listening to him forever. Um, his music is just, it just speaks to me. And someone said, like, you can't like John Mayer and Taylor Swift. I love his music. That is that. His music is so beautiful. And it got me through a lot of times, a lot of mornings. Um, I was supposed to, my ex-boyfriend had actually gotten me tickets to see John Mayer um, when I was a senior in high school, like the summer before I went to college. But at that point, I didn't know I was going to Georgia. And when I found out I was going to Georgia and found out when sorority recruitment was, it was, it was like earlier than school started, obviously. So I had to miss the John Mayer concert in Tampa because that's the tickets he had got me. So I gave them to my mom and her boyfriend and they went and said it was fabulous and ever since I'm like, oh my gosh, I need, because I literally know so many of his songs and this is like his solo tour. So I think it's just like stripped down, like him sitting with a guitar. I don't know if there's openers or not, but it's at MSG. I just love going to see a show and Delaney wanted to come, which I was really thrilled about because I just love concerts. Like if there's ever an artist that I really love and I know most of their songs, like I want to go see them live. So yeah, that's the layout of the day. And that's all I got for you. All right, Delaney is here. We're just drinking some spritz before we go. Um, we'll show our outfits really quick. Call the Uber. We're both wearing like black mini dresses from mine's from Princess Polly. No idea where mine's from. Hers I think it was yours at one point. Mesh key, I think. Yes. And then just you know, boots, jacket, that vibe. We're really hoping John Mayer has an opening because it starts in five minutes. Yeah. So. I guess I should have like triple checked. Well, it says we're gonna get there at 7.40, which is pretty impressive. That's pretty good. We'll get some, oh. Oh, yeah, I have to show you. I got our gals in the go photos. She's <laughs> like, oh, Danielle and Brooke. Yeah, I know. All right, let's go. Delaney's getting a pretzel. NYC check. My feet hurt. It's the best angle ever. Show them some rats. There's a lot out to play tonight. There's some over there you can't really see. It's like we're at a zoo. Water. Oh, oh, I thought I saw them. Oh, there's a little one. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. And I slept in a little bit. Well, well, it's 9.30 now. I actually didn't sleep in. I just laid in bed. Ugh, it's the worst. I woke up 
at 7.45. I was supposed to go to Equinox with my friends Cass and Kelly. Um, because they always want me to go work out with them, but I'm more of like a class girly. But they it looks like they have like a good routine and they were like, it's so fun, come whatever. So I've been trying to like work out almost every morning on the weekdays unless like, you know, I have a photo shoot, stuff like that. Like I can't, I don't know. Trying my best here and I woke up at 7.45 and I, my body, like I got to home so late last night, the train took forever to come. And then I came home and I like showered and it took me a while to like get into bed, whatever. Concert was great, it was lovely. Um, and I don't know, I just, I knew when I got out of bed I'd feel better, but I was like, I feel like my body is just, I don't know, something just told me to stay in. So I did, and I haven't really had like a leisurely morning in a while, but I'm feeling like shitty now because I feel like I've been really good about getting my workouts in and I don't know why like I could work out later today and maybe I just should do that and like not I don't know but also I don't have to work out today like I'm not it makes me feel better when I do and it makes me feel good but like there's some emails that I really need to get to and I've been like prioritizing working out and like filming and doing things but I'm like I do have like admin stuff that I really need to do and I'm just like I don't know I also yeah I don't know I'm just feeling blah I'm feeling blah I'm like annoyed with myself but also like happy that I didn't go and like didn't push myself too hard and that I can have my coffee I can listen to my music I can respond to emails and get some work done um, I'm doing something fun later with Sierra, my interior designer. She's coming over and we're styling my shelves. So it's fun. It's a good day ahead. I just like now feel guilty that I didn't go because I didn't fall back asleep. Like basically what I needed to do, I don't know if anyone else is like this, is like I had to text them to say I wasn't coming. But I would have been able to keep sleeping if I didn't even look at my phone. But once you look at that phone, it's like woof that glow gets you and so then I was just kind of tossing and turning like I don't think I ever really fell asleep again but you know that's that and there's a reason that I'm not there right now there's a reason I'm supposed to like have a morning to myself um and do this and if I want to go work out later I will and if I don't I won't I don't know if that's relatable but that's where I'm at right now. I'm very thankful that my schedule is flexible. This tomato is bad. Um, that I can make decisions like this. But it's still kind of just as like, should I have done that? Should I have gone? I don't know. I will never know. They, but Kelly was like, dude, we'll literally do this any other day. Do not worry. We've all been there. And I was like, yeah, you're a good friend. I needed that right now. So, um, I'm going to drink out of one of my favorite coffee mugs, which is this little pottery mug that I got from Etsy. And sit on my lovely couch. Oh, I need to light my candles. And just soak it in. Soak it in in my Brooklyn and robe. And vibe out. Ready? Okay, I've just spent the last hour doing work, so that makes me feel good. Um, I'm going to wash my hands. So I also just self-tanned, and I just realized I didn't wash my hands, so that's really good. Good job, Danielle. I used that Tan Lux Express mousse again, because Brooke and I are doing another photo shoot, believe it or not, tomorrow. Um, for a very... Actually, by the time this video is... No, this is the video. <laughs> This is the video. So we're doing the shoot uh, for our Brooklyn in bundle collaboration. I'm so freaking excited. So I wanted to be tan. I mean, we're wearing like robes, but we might wear like a normal outfit. I, want, I don't know. I just want to be glowy and I know I can count on that. So I just put on some vitamin C and we're going to use all the summer Fridays glowy gel stuff. Sierra will be here in about an hour, but I just like need to get outside. That is the one thing I do like about working out in the morning. I feel like 
I get something done as soon as I wake up and I, I'm like outside already and I was like, oh my god, I haven't been outside yet today. Um, so I'm just putting on some moisturizer and then I'm going to do my brows. This will be my outfit for the day. I hope I'm warm enough. I like, I'm getting a little too confident. Like I saw that it's 47 and it's getting up to 50 something and I was like, oh, I can just wear this little Spanx set with this vest. I mean, this vest is very warm. It's from Revolve, but I might be humbled as soon as I step outside. It all depends on if it's windy. If it's windy, this is a very thin sweatshirt, but it's just a really cute look. I'll show you guys. Um, but I just thought, you know what? Let's just put on something. And I don't even tell you guys. I'm just gonna go get a coffee. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're gonna go for a little walk, a little coffee walk, and get some coffee. I'm gonna go to Think Coffee because I love their cafe con leche. Here is what I'm wearing. It's just this Spanx um, Air Essential set. I'm obsessed with this collection of theirs. It's their new color. And then my Amazon Uggs. And then this vest from Revolve. So I hope I'm warm enough. Uh, I'm gonna use my tote that Miss Katie Bellotti herself designed. I'm gonna grab some sunglasses. We're just gonna go for a little walk before Sierra gets here. I was like ferociously cleaning my apartment too. I was like cleaning the counters and stuff because when your interior designer friend comes, you gotta make sure your apartment's looking good. <sighs> so, she hasn't seen this place since. Like she helped me design my last apartment and a lot of that furniture obviously came here and she came here once before there was stuff here. So I'm excited for her to see it all, all together. All right, Sierra will be here any minute now. Here is a little before of my shelves. I don't really know. We're probably just gonna stand here for a while and like look at it and then decide what needs to go, what needs to be moved, like kind of just an overall vibe. We might go shopping today, question mark. Not really sure. We're just gonna kind of have a day. Um, I wanna get this framed. This is the same Martini Girl print that it's on my tote that Katie made. I wanna get it framed and I think it would look really cute with like the alcohol. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna talk it through with her, pull some things to the side. And yeah, so here's a little before. This thing covers this shelf, but unfortunately it has to stay, so. Okay guys, here's a little update. I did a little montage. I'm like obsessed. We moved this thing, which we're gonna figure out where it's gonna go, but I do love how this looks. Like coming from my kitchen, it's so beautiful seeing the little mug sets. Sierra's really into the group of threes. So those three look so cute together. And um, we're actually gonna make a quick trip to Abode. Say hi. hi. In Soho, just to grab a couple little things and see yeah some little knickknacks but yeah this is the area we're like still it's kind of like the um the leftovers of the thing so put some of the photos together um I have like the I just literally need storage so that's what we're working with she was saying this kind of needs its own moment this bar cart area I'm like loving um it's just it was so fun we just took everything out and then we went to town so yeah woo I'm here with Sierra and we're about to go into abode and pick out some fun little knickknacks for my shelf. I'm so excited. I can't wait. What are we looking for? Just maybe a cool candle, like candles. one that you wouldn't light, like a yeah, cool shape. Yeah, like an candle. aesthetic candle. Aesthetic candle, just anything. They, they have, have some cool like stuff. Coffee table books here. We could do some. I don't know if they have coffee table books, sadly, but What's they have. That? You'll see. Oh my god, it's yeah. so cute. I can't wait. It's small, but I'm excited to go in there. These two. Yeah. This mug is so cute. I know. I mean, I'd buy more mugs. <laughs> I'm not mad yeah, about it. Great. Hey guys, success. Look at the tissue paper they use, it's so cute. Yay. Okay guys, just got back from Abode. I'm just unboxing right in the middle of my apartment. It's the first thing I got. And I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, Sierra, this is so cute. I don't know what I'd put in it. And she was like, moss balls. So Here, I'll let you go see if it's cute for the shelf. And then- I'm ready for it. 
Oh yeah, you can do the third. It's so cute. And then I got this, guys. She was like, just for your little Nashville vibe. Well, for a little cowgirl, Danny, it was so cute. It's like embroidered too. Okay, now Sierra will place this. <laughs> so much pressure. We gotta figure it out. I don't know if we need to move things. I think there's already too many picture frames. There's there. too many. I, I would love if it was over here. Yeah. Because then when I'm walking, I could see it because I really like that one. I mean, we um, can always put it up here with this attic. Oh, that looks lovely. Is the thing out? Or we could just lean it against the wall. I don't know. It looks better. Nah. I mean, it's just like. That's so leany. Fuck. Like, I don't know how to fix that. No, yeah, no. It's. Can you even see it, like, from back there? Yeah, you can. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. What do you I think? I kind of like it. Yeah, it's like fun, quirky up here. Quirky vibes. Quirky, cool girl vibes. Just things, items I've collected from my time, <laughs> my life. This is looking good. Uh, I like it. Oh yeah, the this just elevated this whole area. Don't mind all this, guys. But like that really elevated. It's more chic, like. Yeah, it's chic. Yeah, just yeah. that one little shelf. <laughs> this is. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, so we're Maybe still working on filling out. Oh, the books. books. Yes. We're going to add plants and books. We talked about maybe candlesticks, but I don't even know. No, so we're going to, she was suggesting getting like a hanging plant, which I think would look really good. Just things need to be put together a little bit more, but we were kind of working with what I had. Uh -huh. And then just because that would be silly to like buy a ton of stuff. And uh -huh. so I love how that looks. <laughs> I love a moss ball moment. Yay! Thank you, Sierra. So cute. Sierra just left. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. Also, she took two of the moth ball, moth balls, <gasps> moss balls <laughs> um, from the bowl to put in the hallway, and I'm actually kind of obsessed with how it looks because um, there was like two stragglers on top. I got this candle today at Abode. It's from the brand Montserrat, and it says light me up when you're making out. <laughs> well, I'm not making out with anyone right now, but I do love It's an amber noir scent. And it smelled so good. I think they were burning in the store because it smelled so good. And I love a black candle. So, yeah, I'm lighting that. Heating up some lunch right now. That was leftovers from dinner I made the other night. But yeah, it looks so good in here. I'm so happy. We ended up moving this to over here, which I was reluctant on for a little bit because you can, like, see it. But I also might switch it here. Haven't really decided yet. Um, so not sure there and I need to like put this air mattress away. I just need to like get this area figured out. Um, she had the idea too. I have that one book over there. If I wanted to collect books from like thrift stores and stuff, I could do all books here. Um, so yeah, really, really happy though with how it turned out. Here is my lovely lunch I'm about to consume. It's leftovers that I made. Um, it looks like I ordered this. <laughs> Subtle flex, no, I'm kidding. But I just like had these from an like a order I had taken out a while ago. So I just like washed in the dishwasher. Hopefully that's okay. I made couscous broccoli with cauliflower and then breaded chicken. It's breaded with cauliflower actually. It's from Whole Foods in the frozen section. I love it. It's the perfect meal. It's a great, it's like four o'clock. So it's like a late lunch, early dinner kind of vibe. Just got more emails done and I just looked at the New York Pilates schedule and there was a class at 6 p.m. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna go. This is the set I'm wearing. It's like 55 degrees outside. I think I am gonna put on like some sweatpants. Um, but this is like a set from Set Active. The self tanner's coming in well. I was gonna shower it off, but I'll just shower it off after the class. But yeah, I'm in the mood to like get some movement in. I think it's because it's still bright outside and it's not so freaking dark that I'm motivated because of the daylight savings gonna pop on the same Spanx pants might as well I put them in the hamper because they had like self tan on them but I haven't washed it off yet this reminds me of when I used to do hip-hop class it was like such a thing I feel like people in cheer too you would like wear your spandex with your sweatpants I don't know maybe that was just me all right oh gotta grab the Pilates socks We'll go pink today. We'll do some pink. I'll use these because they have little grippies on them, and I prefer to do it with these over barefoot, personally. At least for reformer Pilates. For matte Pilates, I like to be barefoot. Yeah, I feel like I should be fine with basically... So basically, I'm wearing the same exact outfit <laughs> as I was before. But we just built it again together. I'm excited. I really like the instructor that I'm going to, so that also motivated me. I was like, oh, I know her, like... She knows my name, so it's always really nice when the instructor's like, yeah, Danielle, keep going. You're like, oh my God, she noticed me. I'm so cool. 
and it makes you want to like do better I find um but yeah we were supposed to do like a gals hang tonight like me Margo Katie Brooke etc but Katie's moving and some other gals had some stuff so we were like we're all going to Cabo together next week so we can just reschedule this and while I was looking forward to a night of just like sitting on someone's living room floor and like hanging out you know I haven't seen Ryan all week so it'd be good I don't know if he'll be able to or not but we might hang tonight or I'll cook myself some dinner romanticize my evening there's always something to be cleaned here <laughs> so yeah but let's go to Pilates just, I literally booked it 10 minutes ago who is she I actually want to take a ginger shot before we go I haven't tried these yet but it's from the brand remedy organics so I haven't taken a ginger shot in like a week so crazy of me Ooh, this one smells strong but like it's gonna taste good cheers to our health ladies and gentlemen Woo! That feels great. Ooh. That was tasty yet spicy. That's my favorite type. Alright, it's a lot later. I worked out and then I was just like, this is so lovely outside. I like it was still bright out, which I was so excited about. So I came back, I grabbed a package I needed to return because I just wanted an excuse to go for more walks. To go for more of a walk. I can't speak. Um, anyways, I'm now ready for dinner. And I was like, let me just clean out my freezer and see what I have in here. I I thought I had frozen veggies, otherwise I would have picked up some vegetables, because realistically I would have had a veggie with this, but I don't, so that's okay. Um, bonza pasta. I've had this in there for a rainy day. It's not a rainy day, but it works. Bonza cavatappi. I love this shape. It's chickpea pasta. And then I've got some Trader Joe's turkey meatballs. I'm wondering if they're good still though. Cause I had them clipped up in the freezer, but I'm like, hmm, they seem fine. Um, those are so good. And then some Trader Joe's sauce that I'd gotten a while ago that I had in the fridge. So this is dinner tonight. I'm watching that movie on Netflix I've been wanting to watch called Your Place or Mine with Reese Witherspoon, Ashton Kutcher, Je Jesse Williams. Folding laundry. Good morning. It's Friday. It's St. Patrick's Day, so gotta wear my green. I don't want to get pinched. Um, we are headed to the dry bar. I actually showered already. I've been washing my hair here before going to the dry bar um, because I have all these amazing hair products and I'm like I, I've noticed I've been going to dry bar a good amount and then it's awesome though I really don't touch my hair like I feel like my hair's gotten healthier since going to dry bar because the style I get I don't really have to maintain it like I literally don't touch it every now and then maybe I have to like take my round brush to like straighten out a kink but like it truly is very amazing, and I'm very confused by it. I do need to go. Um, but we have our Brooklyn and shoot today, so I want to make sure I have a blowout, and then I'll have a blowout for the weekend, which is always exciting. Um, here's my little fit for the dry bar. It's a onesie. Put on a hoodie. It's kind of raining. I probably need to grab my umbrella, but I'm just going to get my good old straight up with rounded out ends. I'm excited. And then I'm going to reward, my, reward myself. I'm going to get Starbucks after, because I'm just in the mood for Starbucks, because I never get Starbucks in the city, I don't know why, but like, it's a Starbucks day. Yay, hair is done, I just put them back with some clips. Got myself an iced decaf latte, and I got a turkey bacon sandwich that I haven't had in so long, so I'm gonna dig in. Okay, I just did my makeup, I'm very happy with it. Um, well, I didn't do my lips yet, I'm just gonna bring that there, because there's no point, but I'm happy with it, and I just put on lotion. One of my New Year's resolutions was to put lotion all over my body more, and it also helps my self tan. Also, can we take a moment for the self tan? I'm so proud of myself. Tan Lux Express Mousse. This stuff is so good. Um, oh, I was like, what did I want to show you guys? Oh, I didn't make my bed this morning. The drama. Hold on, let's open up the curtains. Let's bring in some natural light here, folks. I can't get this one to go over, so I just keep dragging it this way. Ever since I got my curtains rehung, so they're higher. I don't know if there's not enough space, but this one moves. I don't know. 
I, I can't be today's problem. It just can't be. I'm about to head over to the shoot. We rented a pier space in Brooklyn um, and it's super cute. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, we have a day ahead of us because we're doing the shoot and then from there we're going to go straight to Brooke's apartment and we're going to um, record a podcast with Margot Oshry. So excited to have her on. We can't believe we haven't had her on the podcast. Um, I'm layering up because, well, one, I have to make sure I'm wearing some green. And two, I like just recently wore this jacket on the podcast, so I might just take off the jacket when we record and wear. Um, oh, I hate that these are different lengths. I really hate that. Um, just like wear the zip up. I guess I could just like put the zip up in my jacket to wear later. Just looks a little weird it looks better in the mirror actually it still looks weird but yeah I'm just wearing this onesie from beyond yoga I literally love it so much I need to get another one just because after I wear it I'm like this needs to be washed but I want to wear it again like tomorrow um so yeah and we're gonna wear we have matching sets of these from Nadine Marabi which is so fun I wore it to a live show and then that's gonna be one look just for fun like with the sheets and the top like for fun and then we're also gonna wear our favorite robes so and i'm just bringing some other accessories but yeah let's go and this is my bag for the day too guys we just got to our set our pier space it's literally gorgeous like we should sit on this swing with our robes oh my gosh it's so gorgeous like i bet people do yeah the lighting's amazing it smells a little bit like cigarettes but we're gonna ignore it because i'm very sensitive um, so did they loud in here I guess oh my gosh that so like historic this is the bed um it's dark in here right now because the curtains are closed but there's a hammock it's so cutie I'm obsessed this is like so perfect it's so large I'm like wow Brooklyn apartment um yay there's another bed in here too if we wanted let's it's a nice all white vibe it's just not as good of lighting um we could do like flash in there actually like the bright flash, it seems to be our thing. I know, I know. I'm trying to find the bathroom because online it said there's like a towel ladder. Um, oh my God. Oh, there's a whole clothing rack in here. We can use this. <laughs> I know. Um, of course my camera's about to die. Very good, very good. Um, wait. All right, probably won't shoot in here, but we're gonna use this towel ladder to put the towels on, cause I think that'll be a cute shot. Here with the girlies, we're about to record. We're just catching up. Max is here too. Hi, cutie. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Okay, recording with Margot went so well. The podcast episode is phenomenal. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. Um, so definitely be sure to tune in. Um, that'll be up the same day that this video is going up. So perfect. Make sure to use our code GOTG20 um, to get some money off your Brooklyn and Bundle, your gals on the go Brooklyn and Bundle. I'm so obsessed. I will have a link below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.